Hello and welcome to this week's See and Note. It's great that you're joining us. My name is Nick. I'm the Children and Families Worker here in Condon Parish and this is Flo. And it's great to see you at See and Know. Now we're going to start off with our song to welcome everyone and find out who's here. So I'm going to leave a nice big gap for you or mum or dad at home to say your name. Are you ready? Let's sing. Where is, where is, did you come, did you come, come to see and know. There you are, hello and welcome to see and know. Now Flo, what have you got here? You, you've got a rabbit, a rabbit. Can you see the rabbit everyone? There it is. Now, do you know what rabbits do? I know they eat carrots. What do they do? They bounce, they do, don't they? They bounce. That's right, they jump and bounce and they're bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Do you want to have a go at bouncing? Let's try bouncing at home. Well, in today's story, it's all about Jesus bouncing back to life. So I guess we better get ready to practice our actions so that we can tell the story. So are you ready to practice today's actions? Well, the first one is we're gonna pull a very sad face and you might even want to pretend you're crying. <laughs> Okay, that's great. And then we're going to look high and look low. Can you look high and look low? And then we're going to flap our arms like, your, like wings. And we're going to point out in front of us. And then we're going to jump and say, hooray! Okay, let's practice those again just to remind ourselves what they are. So we're going to cry and pull a sad face. <laughs> and then we're going to search high and search low. Then we're going to flap our arms like wings. And then we're going to point in front of us and then we're going to go, hooray! Do you think you can remember those? Brilliant. Well, let's tell our story. He is alive. Jesus' friends were sad. <laughs> they didn't think they were going to see him anymore. Mary was one of the people looking for Jesus. Let's look high. Let's look low. She saw an angel. Quick, let's flap our wings like an angel. And then she saw Jesus. Let's point, there's Jesus. He was alive. Hooray! That was the first Easter. That's the end of our story. Should we tell it again to remind ourselves what happened? This is the story. He is alive. Jesus' friends were sad. <laughs> they didn't think they were going to see Jesus anymore. Mary was one of the people searching for Jesus. Search high, search low, search high, search low. She saw an angel. Can we flap our wings? And then she saw Jesus. There he is, can you point? He was alive, hooray! That was the first Easter. Wow, amazing, Jesus had died and then he came back to life. That was what the first Easter was all about. Isn't that incredible? And it showed that Jesus was God. That's what Christians believe, that Jesus wasn't just a man, but he was God too. And he died and came back to life so that all of our mistakes could be forgiven. That's pretty special. I bet we've all made some mistakes sometimes and it's God loves us so much that he wants us to be forgiven and he wants us to forgive each other too. And at Easter, we celebrate Jesus' death and coming back to life. And we have chocolate eggs and all sorts of things like that to help us remember what happened on the cross that first Easter. And when you open your Easter egg, if you've got one, you'll notice that it's empty, just like the tomb where Jesus was buried, because he wasn't dead anymore, he was alive. Fantastic. Now, for a craft suggestion this week, you might want to make some Easter eggs. Not chocolate ones, although if you want to, go for it. But you might want to make some uh, card ones or if you've got something else that you can use, you might want to cut some egg shapes out and then decorate them with paints. And then you could always get mum or dad to hide them in the garden for you to find or around the house. Or you could always hide them around the house or in the garden for mum and dad to find or brothers and sisters or whoever's looking after you. So why not try making some fun Easter eggs and hide them somewhere around the house or the garden or maybe outside so that you can go on an Easter egg hunt and remind ourselves that Mary went looking for Jesus and she found him alive. He wasn't in the tomb anymore. 
he was alive and that's pretty amazing and that was the first Easter. Now we're going to sing a song which is my God is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing that he cannot do and in fact there's nothing that he cannot do because he brought Jesus back from the dead. Okay are you ready to sing and we'll sing it through twice today. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. Here we go, we're going to sing it a second time. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. Brilliant. Well, we're going to finish off with a prayer, so we're going to need our wiggly fingers. Have you got your wiggly fingers there? I've got some here and I've got some there. Have you got your wiggly fingers? Brilliant. Are you ready? We're going to wiggle our fingers up to the ceiling. We're going to wiggle our fingers down to the ground. We're going to wiggle our fingers up to the ceiling. We're going to wiggle our fingers down to the ground. We open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give a little clap. We open and shut them. Open and shut them. Put them on your lap. We put one little hand over one little eye, the other little hand over the other little eye. Bow our little heads and say a little prayer. Talk to God. Dear God, we thank you for the story of that first Easter when Jesus came back to life. We thank you that he died and rose again so that we could be forgiven for all of our mistakes and so that we could be friends with you. Help us as we celebrate this Easter this week with chocolates and flowers and bunnies and all sorts to remember that we do that to celebrate the new life of Jesus when he came back from the dead. Help us to remember just how special that first Easter was. And when we open our Easter eggs, that we can see just as they're empty, the tomb was empty too. Help us this week to love you, to love each other and to love ourselves a little bit more. Amen. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us for C and No. We're going to have a break for two weeks over Easter, so we'll be back in the new term. So I hope you have a wonderful Easter. I hope you enjoy celebrating. I hope you make the most of any nice weather we have. Um, and don't forget that this week we've still got the second week of the hunt. All around Congleton, we've hidden 50 eggs. We're hiding 10 every day. So today there's been another 10 hidden, there was 10 yesterday and there'll be another 30 over Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So get looking for them. They're a little bit bigger than this one and if you find it you can come and bring it to Congleton Park on Saturday morning 10 a.m. till 12 just behind Stock at the Pavilion and exchange it for a full-size chocolate Easter egg. So please do look out for those, get hunting and have fun whilst you do it and be safe as well. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Have a great week. Bye!